Good morning, Vietnam. God damn, it's hot as fucking balls outside. Uh. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh. Asking yourself why am I playing Battlefield uh, when this video is supposed to be about Call of Duty. Uh. I, I have no interest in playing Advanced Warfare, which is currently the only Call of Duty I have for Xbox One. Uh, I just have no fucking willpower to play that god-awful piece of shit. <sighs> People are gonna rage at that probably. Ooh, Call of Duty's the best fucking game ever. I, dude, the, the, the spawn, like, I'll give my reasonings for why inf or Advanced Warfare is just a steamy pile. The, the main selling point of the game was the exosuits, you know, like, fluid, fast movements, you know, new mechanics, uh, just, 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 be a superhuman. The, the whole selling point of the game is what ruined it. Now, the, the campaign was one thing. The campaign was hit and miss, mostly miss, but it was still meh, you know, on the scale. I don't know who wrote it, but... They should evaluate their writers. Um, it was still okay, sort of. Um, the zombies was like the best part of that whole game, really. The, the, the exosuits made the zombies more menacing, more threatening, made them seem deadlier because they could disable your exosuit or they could be on you like that. Like, they, they were faster, they were stronger, they were smarter, you know, that kind of thing. So, it, it was better. It, it was better than Black Ops Zombies just because it was different, it was more challenging. But the multiplayer, oh my god, the multiplayer. Oh, the, the main selling point for that game, the exosuits, are what broke multiplayer. For the most part. I say for the most part because the, the guns went the CSGO route with the whole, like, uh, elite versions of guns, different skins. Nah, I personally have never really played CSGO that much. I downloaded it in the arcade on the 360 a really, really long time ago. I played, like, two or three matches, maybe one, most of those, and then just put it down, never picked it back up. But... You know, they have, like, fancier skins, but I don't think the fancier skins, like, upgrade your weapon damage or decrease bullet spread, increase accuracy, that kind of thing. Advanced Warfare's guns, you know, had elite versions, but they had benefits and not-so-good benefits. You know, if they increased damage, it probably increased your recoil, which is not good. But they were still broken. They were broken to high fuck. Case in point, speakeasy. The elite version of the ASM-1. When it was the thing, like the go-to gun, everybody used that fucking gun, and I mean everybody. And if you did, you were the if you were the one guy who didn't have that fucking gun, you were just fucked. You would get gunned down at like McCree pre-Overwatch patch distances, like. You, you were just fucked. Now, they did nerf those guns to the best of their ability, but they were still f very imbalanced. If you, And it all came down to luck. If you were lucky enough to get those elite guns out of the uh, supply drops, then you basically had run... You, you basically ran rock shot over everybody. Um... Now, some of it does come down to skill, and, you know, they're, they're, you take that into account. But, the, the, the main thing that broke multiplayer was the fucking exosuits. The, the selling point of the game. The, the, the thing that made the game what it was. Because with the, the, the ability to fluidly move as quick as you did from one spot to the other, you could spawn on one side of the map and then be on the other side of the fucking map within seconds. And by seconds, I mean like two to five tops. What typically took a person in like Modern Warfare 2 or 3 to get from one end to the map, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 8 to 10 seconds, 
hope you could be on the other side of the map in Advanced Warfare in half that. Which would be fine if the maps were bigger. If they were like Battlefield-esque maps. Not small. Not small to very, very small medium maps. But, it, you know, like Caspian Border from Battlefield 3 type. Maybe not that big where you need a vehicle to get from one end to the other. But, you know, just shrink it enough to account for the ability to move from one end to the other insanely fast. They didn't account for that. Which completely fucked spawns. You could spawn in front of a dude who was at a dead sprint. He would shoot you in the back of the head before you even had time to move. Or you would run by a spot. No guy there a fucking second ago. Someone would spawn right there. Bam. Shoot you in the back of the head. You're done. The, 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 the spawn imbalance and the weapon imbalance in Advanced Warfare just completely ruined that game for me. And I just stopped playing after the second DLC. I played zombies mostly. I mean, you see, I even have videos from Advanced Warfare in my channel. Like, little snippets like how to get the first song on the first map. Because after that, I just didn't really care that much. Because I knew I wasn't gonna keep, I wasn't gonna keep playing it, and then um, right when I did play zombies, I played with friends. Because sometimes you got a team in zombies that just made you question having children, <laughs> which is what also why I never played objective-based gameplay. If you ever see me play Call of Duty or Battlefield, for the most part, unless I'm with friends in my squad, I'm playing team deathmatch. Because I, I don't like to rely on people I don't know for objectives because for the most part they let me down. Sorry internet, I'm not the only one that experiences this, I'm just one of the few that speaks out about it. I'm not saying I'm like God in Call of Duty or Battlefield, I just, I get let down a lot, you know, so that's just why I don't do objectives unless I'm with people I know or my friends. But anyway, uh... <laughs> I can't say speak for Black Ops 3 because I didn't own it, so I don't know if like this cybernetic augmentation made it so you could get from one end to the other super fast. Uh, from what I saw, they toned it down a little bit with the stamina bar, so you couldn't do so much so fast. Because in Vance Warfare, you could do like a knee slide, jump forward, air dash. You could like double jump forward, do an air dash forward and then you, when you hit the ground you could do another knee slide and then dash forward or dash forward when you hit the ground do a knee and do a knee slide that's how you got from point to point so fucking fast now i don't think you can do that in black ops 3 but you still move considerably faster than you would if it was like modern warfare uh and everyone's up in a have up in a tizzy over Infinite Warfare being the way it is. Space. Uh, dog fighting in space. Uh, more in the future. You know, it's like fucking Battlestar Galactica or Defiance. Sci fi. Really. F side note, sci fi. I'm really fucking pissed off that they canceled Defiance. That show was. Why do that? Why do they always cancel their great shows? But anyway. You know, it's like Battlestar Galactica. You just take off, you dogfight in space, then you come back down, you kill some dudes. People are pissed off about it, you know? It's like, we wanted boots to ground. You gotta understand, when they started developing Infinite Warfare, it was back when Ghost just released, and they saw that everyone, a great majority of people were like, oh, this sucks, this is a terrible game. I didn't play Ghosts, but I probably would have played it and would have liked it. Now, I'll be the first to admit, that, you know, aliens, I mean, zombies is a stretch too, but fucking the, the aliens, really? That was a really shoddy attempt at trying to get the zombies crowd, even I will admit that. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I still would have played Call of Duty Ghosts, and I probably would have liked it, because it was like the last Call of Duty to me. These new ones are not Call of Duty. They're like... I don't even know what. They're, they're just not Call of Duty. They're like Titanfall without the Titans. But I just... People are so pissed off at what it is when in the development cycle they started right after Ghosts and they were seeing the, for lack of a better term, success of Advanced Warfare and now Black Ops 3. 
Pirates, I say, for lack of a better term, because, th yes, they sold, but they sold because of people bandwagoning and people just buying it to buy it because they're like, oh, well, you know, it's the next Call of Duty. I might as well buy it. Uh, so, I mean, they, they were looking at the success of those and were like, oh, they bought it, they must, like, futuristic warfare. And you can tell by the title of the game that they started right around the time of Advanced Warfare. Because, I mean, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, you know, you know, you see what I'm saying? So, and, and that's probably right around the time that people are like, oh, Advanced Warfare, wow, exosuits, this is so cool. And then several months later, like, these fucking exosuits are fucking terrible. Or I was, anyway. I noticed fairly quickly that the exosuits completely fucking ruined the multiplayer aspect. But... Call of Duty in and itself always piggybacks on the last game's success. You know? Anymore, there's, there's, there's no originality there, you know? Uh, the, the, the last original Call of Duty, I feel like, was Modern Warfare 3. And that was part of a series, but it was a definitive end to the series. Call of Duty Ghosts tried to piggyback on the success of Modern Warfare 2 and 3, really. 2, because, you know, they brought up Ghost from 2 and 3, because that was the end of that series. Uh, Black Ops 3 tried to piggyback on the success of Advanced Warfare. With the whole, you know, superhuman movements, but instead of doing, like, exosuits, they went even further into the future and decided to stick those exosuits inside human tissue with, like, cybernetic hands, like Luke Skywalker arms. Uh, and people still bought it. Like, there are these people out there that will buy Call of Duty no matter what the story is. Or w what the multiplayer is like without... Taking the time to sit back, waiting for someone to review it in earnest and decide on their own, you know, like, maybe this isn't what I want, maybe this isn't what I want to play, maybe this isn't for me. And people in the comments may or may not say, well, well you bought Advanced Warfare, you're part, you're part of the problem too. I didn't buy Advanced Warfare by itself, I only got Advanced Warfare because it was part of a bundle. Like the 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 five, the f one terabyte hard drive, Xbox, the bundle edition, and I only got that for the Xbox. Stupid reason, I know, but it was one terabyte. And had I known that Gears of War 4 was going to come out with an Xbox One Slim with a two terabyte hard drive, with an Xbox and a controller that looked way better than this black and gray offset piece of crap, uh, I I would have waited, especially since it was 50 bucks cheaper. But, uh, I didn't buy Advanced Warfare for Advanced Warfare. I bought it because it came with the Xbox. And I wanted the hard drive space. But, th th this stigma in this community needs to change. It's just like, we, we, we bitch and moan for a new experience. And then when something comes out that we don't want, we go out and buy it anyway. You can't expect, you, it's like how you train your dog. You can't encourage bad behavior and then expect it to change anyway if you want things to change don't buy the game you know if you go out and buy it anyway they're going to be like oh well the game sold they must like it anyway so that the next game comes out is going to be piggybacking off infinite warfare's quote unquote success so i mean it, people raging in the in on that video with the dislike ratio and everything else about it you only have yourself to blame if you're one of those people that I mentioned. It's just the simple fact. If you want change, you yourself have to encourage that change. You can't keep feeding the beast and expect things to change. But we'll see. Let me know what you think. Likes, comments, subscribes, shares.